Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing and Stuff. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at another Skytop power, power supply. This is their X002M04Y0F. Uh, this is a 13.8 volt, 30 amp switching power supply. And I believe this one is gonna give us enough juice to power up that uh, 100 watt radio. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just get it out of the box and we'll take a close look at it and then start connecting it up and test it out see how it works. So let's go ahead and open her up. Got some nice foam to uh, protect the power supply. Got our power supply itself. A nice little bag here. So we'll just go ahead and set this aside for now. A little bit more foam to hold everything in place. We have, of course, our AC plug and a nice little instruction manual. And that's it, that clears the box. So let's go ahead and reposition the camera. We'll get you guys in a little closer and show you the features of this power supply before we start testing it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the front here. And as you can see, this is labeled STP1330. So first on the left, we have our power switch, which is just simple on and off. Up here, we have our meter, which will display voltage. If you have this switch over to the left and amperage, if you have this switch over to the right. Next over, we have our cigarette plug, which is capable of putting up to 10 amps of DC out. And then this is a neat feature. Uh, this is their noise offset. So this allows you to adjust and it's supposed to eliminate the pulse noise of the switching power supply, uh, which will really help with interference uh, in communication devices, hypothetically. So we'll, we'll check that out, but that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna go ahead and rotate it around back here. So you also have two screw terminals that you can put your positive and negative on. We have a cooling fan and a port for our AC plug over here. Now on the side here, you can see you just got some vent to allow for a little airflow. Same thing on the other side. And on the bottom, we just have four feet. So let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and turned on. Okay, and you can see when it's on, we have our little green uh, power indicator there. And the screen is also backlit, which is great if you're working in a low light ham shack or something like that, then you can see things on the go. So here we are, we have our amperage meter on and you can see they're really not drawing any amps because we don't have anything connected. Go to our voltage and there you go. You can see our 13.8 volts. So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is check out the voltage and see what it's actually putting out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use our meter here and we're gonna check the voltage coming out of here. And there you can see 13.82 volts. So it's pretty much spot on right there, 13.8, just like it's supposed to be. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and shut this guy down. And then we're gonna test out the front port first. We're gonna try and see if we can get this to charge a laptop that is completely dead using a cigarette charger. So here is the laptop and here is our plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, stick that in here. And before we turn this on, I just wanna show laptops totally dead, 100% drained. So I'm just gonna fire this up. So we see our 13.8 volts. Let's look at our amperage. And you can see there we got a little bit of amps. It's about approximately two amps. And we have our light on over here. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and try and turn the laptop on. And it's got a green light. Hopefully there's enough juice to get this thing fired up. And then there you go, bam. So laptop is starting up. And then, so now we're drawing a little bit more amperage. 
we're ramping up here a little bit, which I don't know if that's just the way the power supply works or now it's just drawing more because it's also, it's powering the computer and charging the battery. And there we go. We got our funny little fat kitty on the background. Computer is running, so passes this test. Here we go, 10 amp. We're only pulling approximately four at this point, but we know that this port is working. So now let's go ahead and move on to something a little bit bigger and we will see how that works. Okay, the next thing we're gonna check for here real quick is AC ripple. It's always good to know if you got AC ripple coming out of your power supply. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect in here and I have this on AC and I'm not getting anything, which is good. That's exactly what you wanna see. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hook up the radio, a Kenwood 5710. I'm going to turn this guy off first. Go ahead and close this front port. And then it, there you go, it winds down. And keep in mind there are capacitors and stuff in here, so there may still be some voltage on this stuff when you turn it off. So don't just assume that the voltage is instantly gone. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this screw. And I will say, these are a little bit uh, nicer, heavier duty feeling than the last version of this power supply. So I like that. These feel a little more robust. They'll probably hold up a little bit better. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and connect up the radio here. And you want them nice and snug. Don't need to wrench them down super tight, but just definitely nice and snug. You want good contact. All right, let's turn it forward here and we'll go ahead and we'll start on voltage, we'll power it on. Power it right up. And so you can see, it's maybe just a little below or at approximately two amps is what it's showing. So let's go ahead and take a look at that with our amp meter here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clamp on here. So I'm showing 1.17 amps. Sorry about it being upside down, but so that's just with it in standby. Now I have it on the low power mode, which should be putting out about 20 watts out of this radio. Um, and I have the radio connected into a dummy load, so we're not gonna be transmitting out into the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and key the radio. And I'm showing about 9.6 amps on there and approximately nine amps on the meter. So that's pretty good. So let's go over to high power. Okay, and this should be putting out approximately 100 watts. So let's see if this little guy can handle that. So I'm gonna go ahead and key the radio. Perfect, it's only drawing approximately 15.7 amps according to the meter and it's just about right on 16 on the analog meter on the front. So that's pretty accurate. That had no problem handling that at all. So uh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, I think this would be a really good thing for, uh, for radio benches and stuff. So let me go ahead and just readjust the camera and we're gonna talk about this stuff for just a little bit and then uh, close out the video. Okay, so as you guys saw there, uh, this little power supply it just works like it's supposed to it's pretty simple it's easy to operate and uh, the the analog meter is pretty accurate not quite as accurate as a, a nice clamp on amp meter but that's to be expected uh, especially at this price point I think this is a really neat little unit and if you had a ham bench or radio bench or just needed a 12 volt power supply that's not adjustable so it's constantly the 13.8 volts then uh, this would be a great thing for you to use. Uh, the only downsides is, you know, you got two connections. You have your front connection here for a cigarette plug, and then you have a two post on the back. Uh, but that's usually pretty standard on power supplies. They only have one output. Maybe some of them have two. Uh, but in the next video, I'm actually going to show you a product that I think is really cool in addition to your power supply. So once you get a power supply, this other uh, thing I'm gonna show you, I think complements it very well. 
and uh, makes for a pretty cool addition to this, to a ham bench, to anything that you're gonna be using power supply, especially if you're gonna need to hook up to more than a single object. So uh, I'm totally happy with it. I like the form factor. It's a fairly small power supply. It works well. There's no AC ripple. Uh, the voltage seems pretty solid and the uh, amperage on the meter is pretty accurate within you know just a little bit of error but close enough to get, let you know if you're getting anywhere near the 30 amp max um, this power supply can run at 20 amps continuous uh, no problem according to the uh, manufacturer spec specifications so uh, yeah and I'm, I'm looking forward to having this guy and utilizing it and I like the fact that you can see the voltage on the meter just as a reference that way, anytime you turn it on, you can check the voltage before you apply the power to any of your uh, equipment that you're going to hook up to it. So at this point in time, I think it's it's something that's neat and we'll see how it holds up, but uh, definitely worth checking out. I'll throw a link down to this below if you guys want to pick one up. Uh, and they also have you know a bunch of different power supplies that you can check out as well. If this maybe doesn't quite fit your needs, they probably have something that does. So. I think that about wraps up the video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below and I'll try and answer you if I can. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for the next video. Yes, I'm doing two videos in one day. Uh, I will be releasing them a little bit apart, but uh, that's how excited I am for this next product to go along with this one. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you wanna like the video, go ahead and like it. And we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.